Lois's day with Farmer Brown. If you ever get the chance to visit the Norbenton and Warwick Railway, you'll find that there are many farms along the line, growing all kinds of fruit, vegetables, dairy and livestock. These get collected by the trains nearly every day throughout the year, and get delivered by rail to the shops and markets in the towns and cities. Early one evening, Station Mistress Stacy arrived at the shed. Evening all, I've got an urgent special for tomorrow. Farmer Melissa Brown needs an engine to help transport her produce to market, and I'm sure one of you will be eager to participate. Electra, Rudolph and Beatrice rolled quickly back into the shed. I'll do it, Miss Stacy. Excellent, thank you, OS. The rest of you will have normal schedules for tomorrow. Rest well. I don't know why you lot are so uneasy about this way, Bill. You don't know what you're up against. Farmer Alyssa Brown is the worst. She'll complain if you're going too fast, too slow, too roughly. And that's not the worst part. You see, Melissa Brown is... Well, I think you are all just being silly. Good night, everyone. The next morning, Owas left early to collect his train. Trixie was already there waiting for him. Here are your freight wagons, Owas. Thanks, Trixie. But what? No tricks today? Oh no, even I don't mess with Farmer Brown. Well, in that case, maybe I should be careful if she can keep you in line. See you later, Trixie. Good luck! Owas arrived at the hold, and backed his train down onto the goods loading bay. Standing on the platform was a very stern-looking woman. Owas couldn't help notice, but something looked familiar about her. Good morning, Miss Farmer Brown. But Farmer Brown just continued to frown at him with no greeting. My name is Ois, and I hope you'll enjoy the service today. <laughs> it will be better once I get all my farming produce to the markets. Well, well that, that was, was very, very strange. strange. Once all the goods were carefully loaded into his vans and trucks, Ois's fireman made a call to the control Here for departure over. while Farmer Melissa Brown spoke to Ois. No, steam engine, I want you to take my farming produce straight to the markets with no delay. No high speeds, no bumpy springs, and no disobeying my orders, understand? Maybe, Maybe the others was right. right. She, she does, does seem to be a very difficult, difficult lady to please. You may proceed. Ois looked up at the signal but it was still set to red. You may proceed! Ois didn't know what to do. He knew he couldn't disobey a railway signal, but at the same time, he couldn't upset Farmer Melissa Brown. What is taking so long? I, uh, I'm just trying to build up steam pressure. You know us steam engines can't run smoothly if our boiler pressure is low. Well, hurry up! We don't have all day! Ugh, I don't know these little kettle on wheels. Finally, the signal gave them clearance, and with a whistle, Oa steamed slowly and carefully onto the branch line. But as they travelled along, Farmer Brown made the journey very difficult. You're travelling too slow! We'll be late! Now you're running too fast! Slow down! You'll bruise my tomatoes and crack the eggs! They had only gone ten minutes into their journey when Oa saw a cow on the line. He had to stop. This did not please Farmer Brown one bit. Oa tried to gently hiss steam in the hopes that it would move, but the cow just flicked its tail and kept on grazing. Why did we stop? I'm sorry, Miss Brown, but there's a cow on the line. 
Well, get rid of it. I did try, ma'am, but she just won't budge. Oh, let me do it. And with that, Bamba and Lisa Brown climbed into Oasis' cab and yanked hard on the whistle cord. <coughs> this frightened the cow and it bolted straight back into the fields. Now that is how you tell a cow to move. How, how did, did this lady, lady become a farmer? farmer? Once Farmer Brown was on board, they set off again. A little later, they arrived at their first delivery stop, Merry Valley Station. However, Electro was already at the platform collecting passengers. So Oas pulled up to the signal box just before the station. What is it this time? The platform's occupied, Miss Brown. We'll just have to wait our turn. Oh, no we don't. And she called to the signal box beside the track. Clear the platform this instant! Poor Electra was forced to pull her train out of the station. And Oas slowly jumped in. Oh, I'm sorry, Electra. Oas apologized as she backed her train down onto the other platform. We did tell you she was trouble. Later, as they puffed through Cabbage Tree Woods, Oas gave off a sigh. Nearly there, nearly there. He was glad the job was close to completion. But just as he was enjoying himself, the steamer saw a tree on the tracks and skillfully came to a stop in front of it. Oas to control. We have a tree on the line near Cabbage Tree Creek. Please send assistance. Over. Will do. Over. What is going on? Why have we stopped again? I'm sorry, Miss Farmer Brown, but there is now a tree on the tracks. Well, push it off the tracks. But Farmer Brown, this is a tree, not a cow or another train like before. I'm in charge and I say push the tree off the tracks. But Farmer... No buts, I order you to move this tree right now. We are running late. Oas had finally had enough. Farmer Lisa Brown was being so rude and bossy from the start, it was enough to pop his safety valve. But he quickly remembered that Stacy was counting on him to do a good job. And with a deep breath, he chose his words very carefully. Farmer Melissa Brown, I made a promise to Miss Stacy that I would deliver your goods safely to the markets. And I believe the best thing to do in this situation is to wait quietly for Beatrice or Trixie to come and help remove the tree. We will make it to the markets on time. Mum Melissa Brown just frowned at Oas, and with not saying a word, went back to the guards van. Five minutes later, Beatrice arrived at the location. And after she helped remove the tree off the line, Oas set off again. Thank you, Beatrice. See you later, Oas! Finally, they arrived at Normanton's good shed. A few minutes late, but safely in one piece. And the workers quickly and carefully unloaded the train. Hello, Melissa. I take it that everything went well? Well, Stacy, I have a lot to complain about. We started late, there was a cow on the line, stations blocked by other trains, fallen trees, and a locomotive that refuses to take direction. However, on that last one, his refusal did help us prevent any further delay, so I find the service to be adequate, if not without its issues. Good to hear, dear sister. Sister? Yes, and I must say, this is the first time I've seen her happy in ages. Well done, Oas. Oas was relieved. I can't wait to tell the others of my day. 